the mightiest machines in use along the express highway. Big and invincible. Battling Mother Earth right inside Kenya's capital. Shaping Nairobi of the future. Today, we reveal the titans of drilling, burrowing below our skyscrapers. Nairobi has a problem and it's piling because traffic snarlaps continue to worsen every single year. Every plan aimed at decongesting the city has failed terribly and the city is only getting bigger and more dense. To solve the problem, the city needs modern roads like the express highway. To achieve that, in the stipulated time, it calls for drilling machines and cranes. so big and tall they have to be assembled at the construction site Along Mombasa Road, the slurry is making a final delivery. A consignment of body parts. In just an hour, these parts are transformed into this. A rotary drilling rig. It's like a giant caterpillar. But with a big mast and strong teeth. Her chisel-like teeth can grind some of the hardest rocks on earth. She gives a new meaning to multitasking. Every rig mounted along the new road is different and for the workers every day is different too. The express highway is being built from Lolongo in Machakos County to James Gishuru Junction in Nairobi, a distance of about 27 kilometers in length. Part of the road from Lolongo to Next Gen Mall will run at the same level and in the middle of the existing A8 road. 
from next gen mall it is being elevated about seven meters above the ground the construction of the express highway starts by excavating a shaft about 20 feet deep To dig the deepest bores, workers need monumental machines, rotary drilling rigs, plus cranes and excavators. When finished, they will be deep enough to hold columns and be able to withstand the weight exerted by piers, concrete beams, moving vehicles and natural forces like wind and earthquakes. Drilling below the surface for the construction of piers is called piling. In this case, the loosening of the rock under the drilling bucket mounted on a rotary drilling rig. They are playing an important role in the construction of Kenya's modern road. Since construction work began, they have been digging through the earth with their 16 chisel teeth drilling buckets. The drilling bucket is situated at the end of a long metallic road. With 70 meters of drilling depth and 2 meters of drilling diameter, 240 kilonewton of rotary drive, 265 kilowatts of engine power, and 240 kilonewtons of main winch lifting force, the drilling machines deployed along the express highway are having outstanding performances. They are equipped with a retractable truck which ensures stability and is convenient to assemble. The new road will overpass Nairobi's commercial center, cutting through areas surrounded by megaton structures, some still under construction. So without the most experienced engineers using the best machines available, the dangers here will be overwhelming. A lot of consideration has to be done about people using the existing parallel roads or those under. For the road to be stable, a good foundation has to stretch vertically down for miles and thousands of deep holes will have been dug before the road is completed. The drilling is carefully done to ensure that neighboring structures are not affected.
the rotary drilling rig comes into play. At Mombasa and Bunyala Roads Junction, the amazing kit is piercing through the hard rock. It can dig holes three meters wide and over 70 meters deep and almost any angle desired. Here, piers are being erected, but first, holes 20 feet below the surface need to be created. This allows for a foundation made of concrete columns to be created deep into the earth crust. The powerful bucket eats through the earth's toughest rocks. The bucket revolves at phenomenal rate. The solid rock turns into powder. It's the key to what is happening here. The pulverized rock needs to be cleared from the hole or the drill could get stuck and delay the operation. When filled with soil, the drill is pulled out. The main winch is lifted, rotating the structure to a soil discharging position. The winch is then lifted slowly while lowering the rotary and then The bucket is shaken to discharge the soil. No single mistake is allowed at this stage. foundation of the road and that can be catastrophic in the future. With every rotation and revolution, the bucket goes deeper and deeper. A protective casing is then lowered into the bowl. Slurry is then added. The operation of drilling and soil discharging is repeated. That is until the design depth and indicators are met. Excavators are here to move things as well as load lorries with excavated soil. These workers rely on their years of experience to ensure everything goes to plan. The steel reinforcement cage and the duct used for concrete filling are then lowered into the bowl. The duct is removed continuously during the pouring. A 
platform is then constructed. It's upon which piers are erected. The next phase of construction is taking place above the surface and a majority of it over 7 meters above the ground. We are talking about molds, steel reinforcement cages, concrete and machinery. Everything now depends on these construction cranes located at every construction site along the road. Some are simply formidable steel giants. They are playing a key role in the loading operations. The crane operator is the most important person during such operations. He has to ensure that all units are working. The safety of everyone here depends on it. He is simply responsible for ensuring everything is as planned. The hook attachment is periodically checked before lifting can be done. This crane's magic is dictated by the boom that usually gets higher and higher. This is done by special tubes called hydraulic cylinders located underneath the boom. These cranes are essential during the construction of the elevated part of the express highway. They virtually lift everything to the peak of the construction site, about 7 meters above the ground. But how is it doing that? Different components can be attached at the end of the boom to enable it to pick things. It can be a hook to lift up things like boxes or buckets. or a grabber to hold folded things. For example, this is a hook and it's being used to transport a bucket full of concrete to the top of the construction site. <laughs> 